In this video, we are going to talk about the Forger app basics. This is the first screen that you'll be presented with, the Start menu. Forger's creations are saved in scenes. This Start menu gives you access to all of your creations and allows you to open them, among other actions. You can see that there are different templates at the top. If it's not the first time for you in Forger, you might have some creations of your own. Let's say you don't have anything saved yet. So, you're going to start from a template, a sphere, for example. Once you select a template, a new screen will appear. You can see there are different menus and icons, so let's have a look at them. In the upper part of the interface, you'll see the menu bar. From the left to the right, you have the gallery, which takes you back to the start menu. The import menu, which allows you to import 3D models, stamps, images, materials, or IBLs. The save menu. The Export menu, which allows you to export 3D models, textures, or rendering. The Objects list, which lists the contents of your scene. The Mesh menu, or you can modify the mesh. The Symmetry menu. We'll talk about symmetry in detail in another video. The Layers menu. Resources menu, where you can have any reference pictures you may need. Materials menu where you can create, modify, and assign materials. Display Settings menu, where you can choose to show the grid, the wireframe, and some more options. Preferences menu, where you will be able to get some options to your liking. And Help menu, which allows you to have a quick look at various help resources. Once you have the menu bar figured out, let's have a look at the sidebar, which shows you the options for the active tool. Here you have icons for the brush you are using. It can also double as a tool picker. The stamp of your preference. Sliders for choosing the size and strength of your brush. And the undo and redo buttons. So, you have chosen the sphere to start sculpting. The first thing you should do is make sure you have a sculpting tool as the active tool. And then just tap and drag on the mesh to modify it. Let's have a look at the shortcuts panel, where we'll find the masking shortcut which you can press to mask parts of your mesh. The light shortcut, which you can press to move the position of the directional light. The smooth shortcut, which you can press to switch temporarily to the smooth brush. The alternate shortcut, which you can press to run the alternate, often negative, mode of the active tool. And the navigation shortcut, which you can use to navigate around the scene. Finally, we have the toolbox, which you can place along any edge of the screen. You can set the tool icons in your preferred order. As you can see, I have symmetry enabled, and with a few brush strokes and using the mentioned shortcuts, I can start making a rough face. We'll see the different uses of the menus we've previously mentioned in other videos. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like it.